Yo, what's good, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing well today. And yes, I know I haven't uploaded a video in three days, but guys, I got a new desktop. So I was setting that all up. But the main thing I forgot when I got my new desktop, when I built it, is I forgot the CD keys to my video editing software. So I spent the whole weekend calling all the companies. Some of them were closed, waiting for them to get back to me, email me back so I can not have to pay again for the video editing software and video capturing software. So I got really lucky, finally got all of my stuff together. My desktop is up and running and we are back at it again ready to go ahead with daily episodes one more time. So I do apologize to anybody who was upset at me for not being able to upload, but that's why guys, so I got my new desktop, everything's ready to go, and I'm excited getting into this episode of staying in D1. You guys saw we're at 13 points, couple of games left in this division, still can get that division one title, obviously, and using our 4-3-1-2 City A team as we come up against a 3-5-2 City A team, really good center backs, Diakite right there in the middle is an absolute beast, a tank a complete tank can win anything in the air and obviously Ogbona and Kilini out on the left and right center back position lots of pace but I had to control the pace of this game as you guys can see here had to dictate it as I tried to find width to beat that 3-5-2 early on but his keeper makes a great save ensures that I do not score early on but look at Ogbona just completely bossing everybody around great tackle great pass and we are on the counter great one touch passing here Totti Tries to land this one on the money, doesn't work, and look at Mikali not giving up on the play, intercepts the ball from the keeper, smashes it into the back of the net 25 minutes in, and we are up 1-0 just like that. Very, very good play by Mikali by not giving up there. And as you guys can see, I had to create as much width as possible. That's what you got to do against the 3-5-2. You got to play out wide and then cut back in. Inler right here trying to show off his skilling with some step overs, cut it back inside the Marquisio. Terrible pass here, but Ogbonna, luckily he's pacey and he comes in and saves the day. That would have been bad news. Look at that passing again as Dante is going to get a nice shot on goal, but his keeper playing clutch keeps it at 1-0. And as you guys can see, I forced him to play in a countering manner and I'm able to control the pace of the game. I kind of turned him into a countering player and we're into the second half now. And one more time trying to work the wings as much as possible. Mikali with a heel to heel can get that one off but this time it's bad news for me played initial good defense the ball I had it here all I have to do is give it away try to do too much with it with Ogbonna and it's just two on one now too much pace tries to curve it around the keeper hits the post but Muriel right there to go ahead and tip it in and we are gonna go ahead and be equalized now at 1-1 so kind of frustrated there terrible play by my part giving up a goal but we are gonna find Balotelli with the volley it goes right over the post unlucky that would have been a beautiful goal but unfortunately, it goes soaring over the bar. He tries crossing it in, but you guys know Ogbonna and Chiellini never let that nonsense go in. They play good defense for us. Stecklenburg, clutch save, keeps us in the game. Still equalized at 1-1. And here, he's going to use Giovinco's pace and pass it around nicely. He's going to find Giovinco again. He's running out of stam, though. So what is he going to do? Play it into the middle to Mikali. Look at Chiellini, last second, slides in. What a clutch slide tackle there. We're going to get him on the counter. Look at Totti. Not a lot of pace, but he's got a lot of skill. Look at here. Whoop, what a move. All he has to do is put it in, but his defender, I believe that Diakite comes in at the last second to completely stop Totti from making that goal, but we do end up getting a corner. Pirlo right now crosses it in, but Chiellini cannot get up there, and then he plays good defense to go ahead and counter me. Look at this right here. He's got Muriel and Patu, so much pace. We defend it nicely at first. He's going to go down the wings with Mikali. Can't really catch up to him with Inler. I thought it was going to be bad news here. Crosses it, doesn't get a nice header off. Stecklenburg handles that with ease. Still 1-1, 83 minutes in now, closing into the end of the game. Look at all these deflections, where the ball goes, I 
I don't know, falls right to his player, crosses it in, and that's probably the first cross we've given up with this team. He ends up getting the go-ahead goal in the 85th minute, and now it's the 90th minute. Can't be nervous. I put it on ultra attacking. This is all or nothing. We don't want a loss. We need at least a draw to continue this run, so it's the 90th minute. Keep in possession. I have one more chance. I find Balotelli with his weak foot, and ladies and gentlemen, that's just being clutch. I mean, that's just having clutch genes as we go ahead and equalize in the 90th minute. Walk away with a draw. Luckily, woo! Thank you, EA, for scripting. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyways, you guys see the match stats there. 62% possession, completely controlled the game in the midfield. Walk away with 14 points. It's a draw. Four wins, two draws, and one loss with three games remaining. So we got to get our act together. Got to get some wins in here and walk away with 21 points eventually. So let's go ahead and hop into the next game. And here we go. As you guys can see, we come up against a 3-4-2-1 hybrid. Lots of pace up front for him. Decent amount of pace at the back as well. So I told myself I got to be careful. I mean, he's going to get me on the counter if he wants to. But obviously, I do have Gilean and Ogbonna. So his counters aren't going to be as effective. I try countering him myself. Bad idea. His CDMs were playing deep there, waiting for it. And I make a mistake. And he was able to pass the ball around in my final third and maintain possession. As you guys can see, couple of good tackles but terrible terrible clearance right there just keep giving him the ball right back and at this point I got flustered stabbing at the ball a little bit too much put it on a high pressure he eventually does find space crosses it in out jumps Giannini and scores the first goal of the match late in the first half there felt a little bit disappointed that was terrible defending by my part I got a little bit flustered got a little panicky and didn't play good defense so that was a poorly defended attack told myself you know what I anytime I, I start trying to counter people it's not my play style so I try to get back into my comfort zone pass the ball on maintain possession right near his box trying to find a player in his box right there Balotelli can't get a nice pass off and he defends it well but I put high pressure on so I'm able to keep the ball right here in his final third find Balotelli take a whip at the goal makes a save another shot on goal another save Dotti gets himself in position that's some seasoned veteran stuff right there Francesco Dotti 42 minutes in gives us the equalizer with a nice header leads us into the second half at 1-1 Balotelli says hey man I'm gonna take things into my own hands gets it all the way down the pitch thought he's gonna find Inler making that run no one covering him what a header right over the keeper to go ahead and give us the go ahead goal we are now up 2-1 feeling really good Inler with a great run left him unmarked very easy goal and at this point I said all right we're in control of this game let's go ahead and make sure we put the nail in the coffin passing the ball again like we usually do able to maintain possession Inler look at that nice little step over and then makes the run goes unmarked nice shot gets deflected right back to him and that's two goals for my center Central midfielder 64 minutes in gives us a, another goal leaving us at three to one what a nice finish by Inler as he makes another run look at that he's playing beautifully for me very happy with his performance in this game so find ourselves with a nice lead here all we have to do is maintain it not a lot of time left one more time passing the ball in his final third he can't do anything nice but look who is there again? Inler, is that a hat trick? Is that a hat trick, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, it is. Inler in the right place at the right time to go ahead and get his third goal of the match. And now we're up 4-1. So this thing is pretty much over, right? Well, there's still a lot of time in this game, believe it or not. A lot of FIFA time, at least. And I find myself playing a little bit too cocky, a little bit too offensive. And he's just going to go ahead and score a nice goal there. Passes it right to Balotelli. Wastes no time. Gets right into the match again and gets me on another counter look at this Woof. what am I gonna do here the ball gets deflected off my keeper thought I played good defense and he gets another shot off with Balotelli 85th minute and it's now 4-3 but his heroics fell short as Inler was just too much for him we walk away with the victory at 4-3 very very nicely played game by both sides there you guys see I completely dominated as far as shots and shots on target 14 total 13 on target and we're at 17 points five wins two draws one loss two games remaining things are looking really good so come back tomorrow find out what happens 
throughout this run through Division One. See if we go ahead and win the title. If you guys enjoy this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see daily FIFA content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I mean, what else are you going to do? Catch you guys all tomorrow. Later.